five days ago, the Daily Challenge destroyed us. I think before that we did really well. We'll see if uh, we can't hold with the likes of a uh, Depakoa, Copentine, Whoop, Chap, and Geoslav. I'm going to say probably not. But doesn't mean we won't try. How are we doing? It's a little early in the morning. I might have that woke up uh, voice that seems to be generally deeper than it is during the middle of the day. I think this is Romania. I saw that flag. But I want to, yeah, that's it. This is, unless this is like a, um, embassy, but it seems weird that the embassy would be not like the capital or something. My, uh, guess. Lepressi? Lepressi? Maybe that's the name of the town? Okay, this thing is, there's a thing in the bottom of my mouse that's like making a noise that's bugging me. I have to fix it, otherwise it's going to be all I think about as I do this video. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of STI ending uh, places here. Makes me think I'm probably not going to find it. This is probably like a small enough town that uh, it's not going to show up this far out. Can you hear? No, the mic's not picking it up. Okay. That's just for my annoyment, not yours. Uh, well, I'm just going to put us here, near Onesti, and let's uh, drive around. Maybe we can see a bit more uh, information like this sign. Let's see. We've got... Well, if I knew anything about the uh, regions of Romania, this would probably be helpful. Let's see. Whatever this region is here tourist or this could be the tourist regional tourism board anything here that could help me uh the resty communal the resty i think that's the name of the town but eh. klar television slar maybe i don't know maybe they say their c's a little differently than the english do oh, i need some coffee as it is early in the morning. Uh, yeah, I have not changed my routine uh, as far as like when I wake up since I've been working from my apartment over a year ago. Um, it's like a 35 minute drive from where I live into work. But uh, I could have changed my wake up time, but I haven't bothered just keeping the routine. The only thing I might change now is how much I'm, uh, none of these are resties. You kind of are, but that's it. I was looking in the wrong spot. The flag is where I'm supposed to look, not where I had my marker. I just realized that now. <clears throat> um, yeah, I've not bothered changing that. Let's see. This is the year. Uruguayan and Brazil border. Melo. Asigua. There's Melo. So Asigua right there. So we are on the 8. 94 kilometers. Well, it's 157. From here to here. Well, here to here. It's a bit of a ways. So we could be like right there. Okay, well, 94 to Mello. Not double that to a Sigua. A Sigua. Maybe we're like, more like there. I'll put us. Yeah, we'll go with that. <clears throat> we're going to keep heading this way. These are very nicely, uh, demarcated highway signs. I, I appreciate this. Is this a geology sign? I believe it is. We're looking calipers. 
Oh, let's take a look at the hazard sign. What are we warning cows? Nope. Narrow bridge. Anyway, I have not changed the uh, wake up routine. Today was the first time, though, when I woke up and I'm like, I'm really sick of this alarm. I think I might change it to something else. I mean, I'm not going to change it to like a song or something I enjoy, so it's ruined. But I think I'm going to uh, just pick a different noise that wakes me up. I mean, it may confuse me when I wake up. I mean, granted, waking up confused is kind of what happens with alarms, especially if you've been kind of sleeping. But it hasn't happened all that often recently. I'm kind of just flopping around in bed before the alarm goes off. There have been times when, like, I woke up and I got super disoriented. I remember once thinking that the way out of my um, room was, well, it helps if I actually explain. My bed is in a corner with the head of it up against a wall. And I thought the way out of my room was up, like, past where the head of my bed is, meaning I had to go through a wall, but that sleep brain me was very confused as I put my hand out and met a wall there, and wondering, why is there a wall there? And then continually putting my hand there, trying to fix it, because, of course, this is probably somewhere in uh, Russia. Because, of course, the first time I put my hand next to a wall doesn't mean it's going to be there again. Uh, brains are dumb. <clears throat> I mean, this is. I'm looking for, no. Germany. Just because I see a German truck does not mean that this is Germany. I have seen German trucks in the center of Russia before, so I'm not going to have that <clears throat> trip me up this time. We are going to head inwards though and see if there is a trend i'm not seeing any signage there this may help me let's see we've got toy toys i don't think i've seen a toy toy in russia english is being used interesting Huh. Um, isn't Toy Toy a French thing? We're at a border, aren't we? Oh. Damn it all. It's the end of the line. The A13 E362. Um. Could we be in check? The A13 E262. <clears throat> we could be on the border here. Potentially. Although I'm not seeing a 13. I mean, the farther north I go, there's a 13. 262. I mean, it changes to it. Are we on the border of Poland and Germany? I think so. But why? I don't know if I'm sold. All right, let's head home and head the other way. Maybe, uh, maybe heading this way might tell me something. But we got to click a long ways. I mean, if we were in a border, I would have expected more uh, signage. It seems to be a. I mean, uh, at least. At certain times of the day, an extremely highly used crossing or something, because the amount of like nicely spaced out porta potties here makes me think that this gets to be a long trafficked um, area. We're in a borderland. Which, oh fuck! <laughs> Thirteen's up there, you dummy. It's between Russia and Latvia, so I was kind of right. And again. German truck. Should have known better. Uh, I don't know where this is. 
the coat of arms, if that's what they are, does not help me. We are part of the European Union, and the language is Cyrillic. Therme of Odessos. We're in the Varna Regional Museum of History. Where the hell is Varna? Ukraine? I mean, that is a Ute, and Y-O-O-T is a Russian thing. Are we like down here? Huh. Are we up here? I need more. Odessa. I mean, Odessa's down here. Isn't it? I know where... Why, why am I not remembering where Odessa is? I mean, it's not Greek, so what? Man, now I am. I've thought myself into a corner here. Gradna Sporta. It's a sport town. Sports city. There we are. Uh, here we are. That's Varna. Yeah. Bulgaria. I need to find that museum now. Hmm. We're just going to put us here. We're next to a, the Varna port. I mean, this, this whole thing's kind of a port, though. What was the name of that um, museum again? The uh, Thessos? Odessos. It's the Regional Museum of History. All right, Regional Museum of History. We are very much not near the beach. I like Sevastopol, Godzilla, that's funny to me. The Primorsky swimming pool, Varna Beach, no. This is Port Varna. But I'm not seeing... I'm going to put us down here just so I actually have a thing. Naval Museum, but not Regional Museum of History. Oh, I apparently nailed it. Way better than Geoslav did. Look at that. I'm a genius. But I'm not really seeing... Oh, Open Air Museum, I guess that's it? I don't, I, I, I don't know. Hello, Japan. What part of Japan? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> These are some very uh, snaky back streets here. Am I going to get out of town or am I kind of like meandering here? This is a weird thought that just came in my head. But if you were to take the roofs off these and all the lettering and did the same thing in like any of the Icelandic ports that I've been to or Norwegian ports, I don't think there would be much of a difference. Houses aren't that different. I mean, sure, maybe the vegetation's a little. But I feel there's a lot of similarities, similarities between the two if you just took out the the key defining things like language or um, thematic architecture is the wrong word, but just like maybe cultural architecture, like things that send you like a, a signal like, oh, this, this is this part of the world. What type of flower are these? I'm going to say persimmons, but no, they're not. I don't know. I think I've seen that plant before. I feel I've just... Can't think of the name of it. I am not a botanist. All these trees and bushes are way too high. I can't get a good view of the land. 
but we're going high, high enough uphill, which makes me feel that we're going to eventually get to a clearing of sorts. And I could maybe make a guess where we are, but then again, probably not. This is a bit more developed of a road. Okay, the 233, that doesn't help me, but that is ocean. Am I going to guess in the north again like I failed last time? You bet your ass. We're going to do that again. We're near Sarafutsu. Flexing that Japanese language muscle that I only did for a semester, and I remember, I remember very little of it. That's pretty. I don't know, the trying to comprehend the symbols in the three different hiragata, katakana, and kanji. My brain just couldn't uh, do that. So that's why I went with Russian. Well, then, oh, see, it was the exact opposite, polar opposite side of the country. What are you going to do? You don't know a goddamn thing about the country other than the. Oh, that's the language. But didn't do too bad. But once again, that's going to have to do it for your Wednesday edition. Like, thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, tips, and suggestions of anything and everything, go ahead and put them in the comments below. We'll read them and get back to you. Go enjoy your Wednesday. I will try to as well. Go check out the thing I made yesterday. Very fancy cake. But until next time, we'll see you. Take care.